Hi, it's Tim, G5TM, welcome back. Uh, today we're going back to school a bit to look at a 33-foot doublet. Well, a big hello to you and uh, welcome back, or if this is your first time, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share and uh, spread the word. Anyway, enough of that. Today what we're going to be doing, well we're going to be looking at a 33 foot doublet. A great idea for a small garden and an antenna gives you a few bands for a small amount of footprint. So what I thought I'd do today is talk you through the design of it, have a look at what it looks like in the garden and then have a look at some of the results. So a nice short snappy video for you. Hope you enjoy. Okay then, a bit of back to school for you. This is how I've done my doublet. This is how a lot of doublets are put together, alright? So, what I have first of all. I have a central fiberglass supporting pole, which is 31 feet above the ground, okay? Then I have two, the two wires running off, both 16 and a half feet long, which is just over five meters, down to there, and down to there, an inverted V. Because I haven't got any supports outside, I've got to use two fiberglass poles. They're both 19 feet long, around six meters, okay? So they're up to 19 feet. Both legs come down, uh, they terminate before both the poles. They're both about 20 feet up in the air at the end of both wires. So it's a reasonably high antenna, not very high, but reasonably high. Now, why do we do this? Well, why, why, have, why have I done this? Well, what I do, I, I bring the 450 ohm ladder line down and I've got a little shed conveniently placed, a little five foot high and six foot long storage shed. Sort of the shed you use to put your bikes in and things like this, bicycles in. So I've got the 450 ohm coming down here, along here, and down to near the, about two foot up from the ground, where I've put a one-to-one -one current ballon, and then a one meter run of RG213 into the shed. We have an ATU, and then coax into where I operate in this shed here. Um, how you tune the antenna? Well, as well as using the tuner, what you may find when you first tune it up is one or two bands don't come into resonance. You can't bring them into resonance. They won't tune a flat SWR or a workable SWR. So you might have to prune or add a bit of a bit of uh, uh, ladder line onto it or take off the ladder line or add, add ladder line on, maybe a foot or two at a time, just to see how that works. But eventually you should come to a situation where you get all the bands tuned. And this will tune, of course, being 33 foot, but also tune 40 meters, but it won't be very good. Its optimal bands are 20, because basically it is a half wave dipole on 20. And it'll also give you some increasing gain. And as you go, go higher with that height, you also get a lower angle of takeoff as well, the higher bands you go. So 10 meters, you'll have some decent gain, but also pretty good gain on 12 and 15, reasonable gain on 17, it's an okay antenna on 20, it'll still work you DX, because 20 is a good good band anyway for that. But uh, when the higher bands open, when, uh, 17 in particular has been really good. 15, I've had a few contacts, I've never heard a voice on 12, but I'm, I've never had a QSO on 12. Uh, but for me, the main bands are 20, 17 and 10, with 15 and maybe 12 as a bonus. So uh, that's the beauty of the antenna, it's worked really well. Let's see it's some, some of the results I've had. So here we go. Here's the antenna up in all its glory. Uh, the left-hand leg going down uh, to about ooh, 20 feet, about 6.5 metres above the ground, something like that. And the right-hand leg is about the same. And there's the other supporting pole, about 6 metres high. The main pole, about 31 feet, just under 10 metres high. So as you can see from QRZ, quite a few contacts there on all four bands used, 20, 17, 15 and 10. Some good DX as well, especially on 20 and 17 and down to Brazil on 10 metres. Can't be bad. So there you go. Not a bad little antenna after all. Did really well on most of the bands I tried it on and uh, a very small footprint. Anyway, during these very troubled times, I've had a chance to do a few more antenna experiments, so I'll try and put a few of those up shortly for you, uh, if you like that sort of thing. In the meantime, I hope you stay with me, share and subscribe, great to have you with me on the journey, and uh, it's been really enjoyable trying these, uh, these antennas out at home. But in the meantime, and most importantly of all, I hope you stay safe, and I uh, hope that uh, you and your loved ones are well. This is G5TM wishing you 7.3 and the best of health.